awesome. Even though I've only played Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 3, I still kind of pieced together the trilogy and I've watched it in videos on 2 and I know what's happening enough to get it on. Plus, Modern Warfare 3 for the Wii explains it a little bit too. They gave, I have to say thank you to Treyarch because they gave, they just packed in so much content to this game. As much stuff as they can put on the disc, they put in. And they did a really, really awesome job. We've got pretty much everything besides Chopper Gun. Got Juggernaut Armor, and the Shield, Riot Shield, and basically everything besides the Chopper Gun, like I said. Again, the single player campaign is amazing with the characters in detail and everything else. They've bought, they've brought, they've bought, they've brought the multiplayer campaign into a total overhaul, as they said. There's like zero camping spots besides certain areas, which could be easily accessible to uh, yourself or like your team just to storm up there and kill those campers in like two seconds. It had some glitches in the multiplayer mode, but they patched those, so that'll be, so it's fine that way. You can expect everything that you expect from a normal Call of Duty game from this and more. Except a couple promises that fi the Treyarch and Infinity, the Infinity War didn't really hold up. They said they were going to take out Final Stand. They did not. Final Stand is in the game as a new thing called the Death Streak. I love the new Death Streak stuff and Spec Ops and all those new things. But why'd they have to leave Ghost Pro, called Assassin's Pro, and Final Stand in a Death Street? <sighs> they didn't. They really didn't. I don't mind Ghost Pro that much, and I actually think it's a help for snipers and different stuff like that. So I'm happy that they split it into two, into two different perks. The actual Ghost Pro perk, and a perk, uh, Blind Eye, that takes away your surveillance to radar, and different stuff like that which is really cool. So I guess that was sort of the best they could do. But really, I can't believe they put in Final Stand. But that's enough about that. And the glitches were patched most of all, and all the host lag and different stuff was patched. So the game's basically perfect now. In it, in this clip especially, you will see a lot of me sniping and quick scoping, and all that stuff is back that they took out of Black Ops, which I was actually quite upset about. I hadn't played Modern Warfare Reflex multiplayer a lot, but I knew that you can quick scope and everything, and people were fairly good at it. In Black Ops, they just took it out. It was annoying. And I'm a very good sniper, as you guys know, not to boast, just say. But they took it out in Black Ops, so I was kind of upset. This game, they brought everything back in, and it feels better than ever. They've patched everything, brought new stuff in, and really just done a very amazing job of packing everything in and more. They've also brought in a new mode called Spec Ops. It's like a combination of Nazi zombies and the training mode, the combat training mode from Black Ops merged into one. With smart AI coming at you in hordes and waves and just survival of the fittest with you able to buy different things like airstrikes and riot shield squads and different squads and different other things. Other stuff that they've put in the game as usual are cinematic cutscenes and such. Which some are gory or for whatever reason they let you skip. So I think that is a big improvement as well. And I commend them for doing so because some of the people who play the game don't want to see them. And besides that, I don't like cutscenes that much. So I would skip them too. I think this game is amazing. And you should go buy it because most of the weird details and other things, they've pretty much fixed. It's the best thing on the Call of Duty series you can get for the Wii. This is FUS8, and I'm out. For, for Call of Duty, Mario for 3 for Nintendo Wii is 9.5 out of 10. Going to give a shout out to this awesome dude who helped me get over 100 views. Who list video games? He commented on one of my videos, so, and, and asked me to look at his channel, so I did. We started... We started um, sending messages, and he basically said that he liked all my stuff, so he told
told all his Facebook and Twitter followers to watch me, and I was 156 views in one day on my and crazy montage video so I think him will offer that and think he's really awesome so watch his stuff he's really good bye